Hello once again folks and you're very welcome along to another video from Gun Dog and Fly to Milaf Balteroiv. Now in this video I have some nice dry fly fishing for you. Um, before I talk about that I just want to tell you um, a little bit about what goes on in here. This this room here in which you'll be familiar with this view if you're a regular viewer um, I built this room especially for it's at the back of my house basically it's behind the house and I built it especially for um, my fishing stuff and uh, I do a bit of photography as well I have my cameras and stuff out here um, when I used to have all this stuff to fly tying stuff in the house um, be pulling it out of drawers, putting it on tables, setting it all up and then having to put it away again. I didn't have a specific place for my fly tying stuff and I have a lot of it. So like that can get in the way of um, domestic bliss, you could say. So it was, it was imperative really and it was a good idea to get all this stuff and move it out here. So I have effectively just a small room that a little, I call it my little cobby. Some people call it a man cave. Anyway, out here I tie my flies, I keep my rods and my reels and all my fishing stuff, uh, my photography stuff and I um, thought you might like to um, have a look around basically this is the view that you see all the time. I'm planning to do a little bit of more work to this, it's only a small room, uh, what is it approximately, I don't know measurements, it's quite small in any case but it does the job and um, but there's an issue in the winter time, obviously when it gets a lot colder and it's very damp here in Ireland in the winter time, um, this room can get damp and obviously that's not good for any of the, particularly the photography, the cameras and stuff, and it's not good for anything in general. So I'm planning to do a little bit of work here. So I thought you might like to, to hear about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the camera up and I'm going to swing it around and I'm going to show you one little job that I'm going to do and that hopefully will improve um, the overall situation here. So now of course that's the view that if you're a regular viewer you'll be familiar with and I'm just going to swing it around here now and um, I have some fly tying stuff up there on the wall and that and uh, I keep my cameras and lenses and they're not all in there now but I have some of them in there at the moment and the job I'm going doing right now is I'm going to install this little fella here. This is a um, little solid fuel stove which will heat the whole room here during the winter. So there's no, um, it's just sitting there in the corner for the moment so there's no actual, it's not functional at the moment it needs to have a chimney attached and all that kind of stuff and piping and all that kind of carry on. So I'll be doing that very shortly and that will usually improve hopefully um, and it'll be nice here in the winter the glow of the fire and tie a few flies listen to a bit of music and uh, get stuck into the fly tying and stock up for next season so that's the plan folks so now I'm going to tell you about today's video So back to my usual spot, um, it'll be nice to have that little bit of comfort here in the, the long winter's evenings and I can sit down and tie some flies and listen to a little music. Anyway, um, this video is basically um, filmed for the most part in late July and very early August. Most of it is evening fishing so bear that in mind this time of the year basically evening fishing if you wanted to fish dry flies it's for the most part uh, evening fishing the blooming olive uh, hatch and the spinners when they come back to lay their eggs on the river which they do for the most part late in the evening and the trout of course know that so they will feed avidly at times on the sherry spinner but what I've noticed uh, in particular this year is there's been huge falls of spinners and very little fish activity which leads me to believe that the fish are probably feeding during the day as well and uh, 
they're not as keen to come up for the spinners. And uh, after that, then of course, there might be a little bit of sedge fishing just as it gets dark. So bear in mind that uh, a lot of this is filmed late in the evening and um, the GoPro struggles a little bit when the light drops low. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video and it's coming to you right after this. Oh, perfect take on the Griffiths net. <laughs> Here, fella. Oh, he swallowed it deep as well. Now we got him out. Hey, and off he goes. really bogged in the weeds. Ah, got him out. <laughs> Don't worry fella, you're gonna be okay. Yeah. Hi right, folks, you join me here on the bank of the river where I'm just tying on the fly. It's a, a July evening and it's the first July evening that I could actually wear a t-shirt and be comfortable and um, up to now it's been absolutely freezing cold virtually every evening and this evening is maybe the second evening I've worn a t-shirt and um, it's great to be out on the river on an evening like this so what I'm doing here now is I'm tying on a size 18 sherry spinner because that's what I expect the trout will be taken on an evening like this evening and uh, I'm fishing with my little Sage LL 7 foot 9 3 weight and I have approximately a 12 to 14 foot leader on here down to 7x which is very fine but it's necessary when you're fishing such small flies as well as that this time of the year the water is gin clear and the trout have it, are well able to see anything sort of heavier than 7x until it gets a little bit darker and then maybe you could use something heavier but um, for the time being I'm going to use 7x which means you have to um, treat trout very gently in the event that you do hook them so there's no better wand than this for delicacy and lightness. The whole thing is as light as a cork. And um, there's no finer, in my view, for delicacy or presentation. So I'm going in here now and uh, going to give it a shot. To give you an idea of what I'm competing with, that amount of spinners on the water is just incredible. Like actually millions. So there's one in virtually every square foot and yet the fish only take a very odd one the occasional one and i'm competing with that so gives you an idea fly tied back on so here we go again mm. Out. That's 
should be perfect. There's a lot of flies in the water, but they're only taking the occasional one. They finally made a mistake. Not a big fish, but gone. Oh well. And if, I hope you can see here the amount of flies in the air here. Millions of spinners, so. If they fall in the water, it should make for good fishing. In the meantime, there's another fish just here again. Another fish rising further up there, but it's very deep water and difficult to approach him. Um, I'll have to make the effort though because he's rising very consistently. Yeah, he's rising very well. Oh, there's another fish between me and him. There's millions of flies in the water now. So I'm competing with the naturals. This fish is really on the feed up here now. So I can get within range. Yeah, he's really on the feed. Behind him. Oh no, that's the third blunder this evening. Lying around the rod. Oh, obligingly, he's still rising. So, there's still hope. Where's Casty stopped? He's hardly that educated. Oh, there he is again. He 
stopped again. He stopped. He must have detected me in some way or other. Yeah, all this rod requires is just a bare flick of the bare flick of the tip of the rod. See how black he is? He's very dark. He's lived in here all his life in this tunnel. Look. He's very dark, isn't he? You got a fly on, Dahi. Get up here quick. <laughs> Broke off again, Dahi. Not a one gun. small now that led there so I've no real interest to it there's a fill up there just on the left that might be a little more more substantial No, it's still only smart. <laughs> Swallowed it. They are down here right in front of you, look. Yeah. Remember that tree? You put that out there for me, can you? You got it? Yep. Good man, thanks. I just want to see, can I catch that, that lead there? Yeah, yeah I got him now, alright. He got off. <laughs> anyway, I caught it him. Off you go, Dahi. Come over to this side and you won't have that tree behind you. 
they're spoiled for choice here now. There's five or six of them there. What are you doing now? Oh no. <laughs> you're okay now, you're 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 tree free. See there just that's it, just a few yards. Go and drop it up to him. I'll be behind him still. Yeah. A little bit. Go on. That's it. Next rise you see now should be yours. There you are. Ah, too late. <laughs> One die. Ah, you <laughs> <box>. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'd say I'm broke off. Yeah, you are broke off, yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, I have a good fish spotted now, Dahi. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. Beautiful. Beautiful. See him now, Dahi. Yeah? He should have taken that, now, shouldn't he? I mean, that deserved to be taken, didn't it? Some cast just deserve a response. Where you are, I know you are, so stay exactly where you are now. Right?
See the way it's going faster than the current? Mm -hmm. That means it's dragging, right? So that's unnatural. The, the trout will instinctively know that that's not the way the, the fly should behave. So I'm trying to get it to him. Now it's, it's traveling properly now. It's at this see it's speeding up. Yeah. When it speeds up like that, all it does is let them know that you're fishing them. They know that it's not right, so they'll um, they know that it's not natural, so they stop rising straight away. That's drag, the biggest problem for the dry fly fisher. See those flies like little sailboats? Yeah. They're newly hatched bluing olives. They are, they're the ones now that will be spinners tomorrow evening. Okay. There's a drag here, that's why they're not taking it either. See where he is here? Can you see him rising there? Mm -hmm. You can? Yeah. Can't see my fly now. Yes. Took it nicely. And off he goes. Just a few yards closer. Two feet to his left. Still two feet to his left. Ah. <laughs> now. Ah, oh, he got off. Well, he made a mistake, didn't he? Too much to his right. Like I said, that was perfect. I haven't it at all. Some blooming olives still coming down. That's why he didn't take it. You, what you take the blooming olives out of? See him? Yeah. Heading for the weeds. Need a blunder. Hmm. Lovely trout. Lovely trout.
That's a big fish there. 